Scorpio. Scorpio, welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions. My name is Angela. For those of you who are brand new to my channel, welcome. Um, this reading may resonate for you. If you have Scorpio in your sun, moon, rising, your Venus sign, or you happen to be cross-watching for a Scorpio, welcome. Let's get into it. Let's see what's really going on for the Scorpio couples in this point in time. Okay, Holy Spirit, show me what it is that you have for Scorpio couples, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio, I want you guys to keep in mind, this is a general reading. So with this being a general reading, it's a given that the message can go vice versa. It's also a given um, that maybe not everything may resonate with you. Sometimes it may not resonate because it's not happening yet and it may be something that plays out later. Other times there might be certain parts of this reading that may resonate for you and, and just other parts that may be for somebody else. Take what resonates for you. Take what was meant for you and leave the rest. Feel free to check the videos for your sun, moon, rising and or Venus for a more well-rounded reading. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can head over to my website, angelicascensionstarot.com. Ooh, okay. Let's get into it, Scorpio. I see some of you may be going to school. I feel like you're definitely going to be making a choice. Some of you could definitely be traveling. Uh, and I feel like some of you may definitely have issues with the past, letting go of the past. Um, I feel like you're a leader. You're a natural born leader. And I feel like clarity and truth is coming in for you with, with whatever this is. I feel like Scorpio, you definitely may be on the verge of a separation if this isn't happening now. I feel like there's clear patterns that are taking place in this relationship, especially when it comes down to communication, because I feel that one or both of you may have a very difficult time getting through to the other one. I feel like there's somebody that might be avoiding a conversation, might be avoiding a call because they might still have some lingering anger that they're dealing with. I feel like there could definitely be a sudden change to your situation. There could definitely be an upheaval. And I feel like there's somebody that feels like they have to chase you or vice versa to, to I don't know, to get whatever they need out of the situation. Let's pull in some details. Why do they feel like they have to chase you? Why do they feel like you're running Scorpio? And that brings us to the overall energy of your reading, which is resilience. So I feel like this relationship has endured a lot. You guys have gone through a lot of turmoil to the point that you may have gotten used to this. The way that things have been, the way that things have been lately. I do feel that there's envy around you. And I feel that there may be someone that may be seeking revenge. And I feel that there's someone in your scenario that feels like they have to hide who they truly are. But they can't really be themselves around you. Your instinct is definitely up. If this isn't your instinct, then this could definitely be the instinct of your cross watcher. And we will take a look at their energy in just a moment. So I feel like there could be um, a, a Capricorn, a Virgo. Libra could be significant. Aquarius, Sagittarius, Cancer is what comes out so far. So let's get into it. And of course, that can be in their sun, moon, or rising sign. You guys are estranged from one another. You guys are, are distant from one another right now. Like I said, there's either a current breakup or you're on the verge of a breakup because someone is questioning, is there really a future in this relationship? And I feel like you guys are taking some time apart from one another to regroup and to figure that out. And I feel like somebody may be coming back into the picture to break the ice and to communicate about some things. I feel like somebody wants to talk about the things that have gone wrong in this relationship and the way that they're feeling. Somebody feels that they're, they've been treated completely unfairly and somebody's on the verge of letting this go and giving up on this. Feeling like it's not worth the fight anymore. This could be with a family member, but this could also be with someone that you have a family with Scorpio. Yeah. Somebody is saying, we just don't get along. Somebody says, I love you, but I can't get along with you. I love you, but I can't talk to you. It's like talking to a brick wall. And somebody is saying that one of, one of you is saying, okay, Scorpio, they could be saying this about you, that they wonder if you're even remorseful, if you even have any type of 
remorse about some things that may have happened because I see that cheating may have happened in this relationship. I see lies. Sorry about that, Scorpio. Yes, I see lies and I see somebody hasn't come clean about some things that may have happened. I feel that there could be a Capricorn that may want to come back to you to rebuild. But you may feel that this earth sign individual is only around out of convenience. When it's convenient for them, they're around. Otherwise, you feel like this person is running, right? There we go with somebody feeling like they always have to chase. They, somebody feels that they have to chase you down to get your feelings out. Right? They feel like you don't communicate how you feel. And while the other one is saying, I can't even tell you how I feel because it won't even matter. Somebody feeling, someone feels as though their feelings are not being validated. So you got the two of cups in reverse. So yeah, definitely a breakup. Sorry for the glare. Two of Cups is in reverse. Can we see this without a glare? All right. Well, whatever. <laughs> it's the Two of Cups in reverse. So this tells me that, yeah, you guys um, are headed for a breakup, but I see somebody coming back in. So I feel like this breakup is temporary, Scorpio. Yeah, but one of you is saying, I want to break up. Like The breakup came because it feels like somebody was putting in all the effort. Feeling like this relationship was one-sided. Yeah, and that's why they're saying that it's time to go. There is cheating. Somebody's married and they're cheating. Or someone's in a relationship, has a family with somebody. But somebody is cheating and it's causing a lot of heartbreak. And it definitely led to a breakup. Somebody is saying, I'm no longer going to be stuck. No longer am I going to be manipulated by this situation. Now, there is somebody that's still holding on to some anger. It could be an earth sign. It could be this. Um, for earth, you have Libra. You have Aquarius. We'll go ahead and say Gemini as well. I feel like there's somebody that's thinking about you. You guys miss one another. And I feel like there's a lot of potential for success to come out of this. But right now, this relationship is just on shaky ground. And somebody doesn't know where they stand with you. Again, because somebody feels that you're still angry about them for something that may have happened back in the day. That person cheated on you back in the day. They feel like you're still holding that against them. Yes. So there is another person here that they feel like you're lying about somebody. Especially if somebody, uh, somebody has Libra in their chart and fire, somebody feels like you're lying. And they're saying that's why we're unhappy. That's why we can't. This is the hurdle that we can't get past. This old episode where, where one of you cheated and may have been secretly talking to somebody, texting somebody. So, yeah, it does look like you guys have taken a break because somebody is saying, I'm done with this. I've had enough. And the relationship is just completely in jeopardy. But I feel that somebody wants to work on it. But the very time, the, the very moment that they think about working on it, they start thinking back on the fact that they feel like you are the type that runs from commitment. They're holding on to you. It's like they're, they're, they're having a difficult time separating themselves from this relationship. It's like they're not leaving but they are recognizing the fact that you are just not going to change. Or at least that's, it might have, that may be how they feel. Whether or not that's actually the truth. Or just what it is that they've summed up in their head based on what it is that they've seen. Okay, their instinct is definitely up. They definitely feel like you're being unfaithful. I definitely feel like it's not worth opening up their feelings to you. But they are trying to hold on. They feel like they, if they hold on long enough, you guys can get back to a very uh, stable place. But right now, they recognize that it's, it's over. You guys may have had an argument. You guys may have had a blow up about something. Possibly you in this fire sign. 
And maybe you did give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you did kind of excuse your intuition when your intuition told you that something's not right here. Maybe you felt that you couldn't pinpoint it. Mm. But you knew that they were lying. You knew that they were up to something. So it looks like somebody's walking away from this relationship because they're unhappy. But at the same time, they're feeling stuck. They're feeling unsure about whether or not this is a time to walk away completely. So it looks like they're taking a moment to think things out, seeing if maybe some things may change. But somebody is definitely still hurt over something that was said. And you guys, it, it just seems like you guys get absolutely nowhere when you guys fight. But I feel like somebody is ready to come to you to make amends. Could be this water sign individual that may be feeling, that you might be feeling is clingy in some way. But I'm seeing that you guys are just not on the same page. It's like you're saying, I don't know if we can get past this. I don't know if we can ever make this work. I don't know if we can ever find a way to solve these problems in this relationship. But here's the Ace of Wands. So I feel like you guys may be beginning again. Somebody feels like they're led back to you. Like they need to come and talk to you and say what's really on their mind. I see gossip. There could definitely be gossip going on with um, somebody outside of this relationship. Somebody is talking behind the other one's back rather than talking to them about what the issues are. And that may lead to some type, they may have led to some type of betrayal. But I definitely feel like there's a, an intruder in this relationship. All right. Let's take a look at the situation from your cross watcher's perspective. How are they seeing it? It's like somebody is saying the future is not clear about where we're going and where this relationship is headed. They just don't know. It's a complete mystery to them. While the other one is saying, I'm just tired of running after you. I'm tired of chasing you down. Somebody's saying, why don't you pick up the phone? I'm sending you messages. That type of thing. Scorpio, cross watcher, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Yes, they are. Your cross watcher is definitely looking for the truth. They may uh, stumble across a revelation. Somebody is definitely married or in a relationship. Or at least this is maybe where you guys were. This is why you guys were in this relationship for so long, right? You guys are looking to eventually get married. Or maybe this is something that you guys were considering. Perhaps one of you isn't on the same page about getting married. While one of you is, it looks like one of you is running from that, not wanting to lock it down. While the other one is saying, I need a commitment. I need an engagement ring. I need some type of promise. I need some type of token of stability. If it's not in your action, like if they're saying, if, I don't know, it's like they want something tangible like a ring, but they're also saying, I want your commitment. I want your words, your actions to line up with your words. Somebody feels that the other one is very selfish, that this definitely is a one-sided relationship and somebody is definitely taking a look at other options and not being faithful. So I feel like one of you, you've come to, to terms with the situation and you're feeling like it's absolutely time to move on. And that's what's in question right now while you guys are in separation. Is it better? Is this the time to hang it up and let it go? Is there something better out there? Could be what someone is evaluating in this scenario, one or both of you. Ace of Cups is in reverse. So this new start that one of you wants, I'm not sure if this other individual is on the same page with you. They're not sure. They're starting to look at this relationship. I don't even feel like they're starting to look at it that way, that it's a waste of time. I feel like that's, this is how they've felt for quite some time, but they just haven't left. They haven't left the relationship behind. They're acknowledging that there has been this on again, on again, on again, off again cycle. And they're still not ready. They're not still not sure if they really want to close the door. Even though they're recognizing that this relationship to them is a waste of time, they're still not sure if they want to give up on this and close the door completely on the situation. Let's see. Scorpio cross watcher. 
Well, Scorpio could definitely be exercising more. Honoring their true feelings. Somebody feels hurt. Feels frustrated. And I feel like in this time apart, in this time of estrangement between you guys, it's like the, the, they're all they're like fixated on this situation. They're feeling hurt. They're feeling rather disappointed. Hmm. But I also feel like somebody may have regret. Somebody's having trouble sleeping because they're thinking about this situation. They're thinking about a lot of dilemmas in their life. Somebody may be working a part-time job. Somebody's worried about where they're going to live. Because I feel like in this estrangement, somebody got put out of the house. Yeah, they were lying. They were lying about another woman. They were talking to somebody else online, possibly. Capricorn continues to pop up. You got Capricorn again here, and you got Leo, and you got Gemini at the bottom of the deck. It's like both of you are feeling like this relationship isn't going to work out. But it's like one of you is trying to gather the strength to do something. What are you trying to do? What are you making a decision to do? Let's see, Capricorn, Scorpio. You are Scorpio. You show up in the heart of your reading. So Scorpio, you got Virgo here. You got Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we got fire. We got Aries for fire. And we got air. We had Aquarius and Libra in the previous spread. Now we have Gemini. Let's see. What are you worried about? Okay, okay. So somebody is definitely worried about this. Somebody's definitely feeling hurt, feeling very emotional. What are you feeling emotional about, though? Worried about what? Oh, it's like there's a block. Somebody needs to talk to you. But they can't because you blocked them. They feel like you shut them out of your life. And I feel like Scorpio, somebody, you may want a clean slate with this earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And they're hurt that you shut them out of your life. They can't get a hold of you. Oh, because they got caught in a lie. Scorpio, this would be you that they feel was being deceptive. In some cases, they feel like you were lying about something. You were lying about this other woman, this water sign. That you were dealing with somebody else behind their back. Maybe not even just two women. That you may have had multiple people that you were talking to besides them. And that this is what you were lying about. And they caught you. They were worried about it. They suspected that that's what was really going on. And they're hurt by that. They're hurt by what it is that they found out. What it is that they've seen. This revelation that came to them. Whether it was via their intuition or via something that they came across. It looks like, Scorpio, you're regretting the breakup. You're looking back and you miss this person. And it looks like you're feeling a bit depressed, very stressed out, to the point, like I said, that you are losing sleep about situations. It looks like you do want to be happy again with this individual, but you feel like they've decided to distance themselves from you, that they don't want to talk to you. You're not sure how to come out of this very distant place from them. Because right now, it looks like you are in estrangement from this person. And it looks like you, you no longer want to feel locked on the outside of this person's life. But you're saying, I don't know how to, 
how to come out of this. I haven't found the solution. I haven't seen the solution to the problem to get back to this happy place, to this 10 of cups that we once had. You got the lovers in reverse. It's like somebody feels like this love affair is over. Mm. Now somebody could have said some pretty foul things. And I feel like that's what you're feeling regretful about. About something that you guys may have said when you guys were arguing. And maybe you feel that your partner acted out of character. So yeah, needless to say, you feel like this is done. That the relationship has definitely reached its breaking point. It's at rock bottom. Because this person sees you as somebody that really is not upholding of your word. Somebody feels that your word is not your bond. You say things, but you don't follow through. So yeah, somebody is, is saying, I needed to let this go. They're saying, I love you, but I had to let this go. You're saying, Scorpio, that this was an unwanted separation. And I want to see if I can turn this situation around and get things back on solid ground between the two of us. And you're trying to find the courage to have this new beginning, but you're saying, I don't have the clarity that I need to get to this new start. I don't even know how to begin. I don't even know how to begin because I feel like somebody is still upset about this last episode that you guys may have gone through. You want to go back and have this new beginning? This is why the Ace of Cups was in reverse because somebody is saying, I don't trust you. I don't trust the way that you move. I don't trust the things that you say. Your actions don't line up with your words. You are not committed. They love you. You guys still love one another. Somebody definitely sees you as a manipulator. It feels like you're somebody that can work their emotions to your advantage. And they feel like you're trying to take advantage of them. Scorpio. They do. You guys do love one another, but it's like love isn't enough. Somebody does want to come back home. This is you, Scorpio. You want to come back home. You don't want to, to close the door on this. You're feeling disappointed about some disrespect that may have happened. That's like you're saying, in spite of our past, I want to work this out. I want to see if we can work together to rebuild this. I want to see my family together. So I feel like, Scorpio, you may be the one to reach out to a Leo or this earth sign that comes up very prevalently in your reading. Taurus, a Virgo or Capricorn is very significant to you. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles comes up not once but twice. So that remains to be seen if you guys can work this out. But somebody is saying, I want my family back. I want my family together. I want this to work out. Others of you, you're worried about, I want to say some type of dilemma that you're worried about a dilemma that you're in. You may feel that maybe a business has hit rock bottom, or maybe there was a loan that you had applied for and you felt that it fell through. Ah. Uh, Okay, maybe this has something to do with a business partner. Maybe you are in business with certain people or these could be your colleagues. This could even be your family because I see a child that you might feel is disrespectful to you. This might be your partner's child. Yeah. I just see that, yes, it's like you guys aren't able to get a word. And edgewise, communication is definitely a barrier. Okay. So let's see, when it comes to work, I feel like that's what the dilemma is. It has something to do with work. You're in a dilemma, you're worried about what? Okay, this is a betrayal. This is worried about another woman. Somebody steals something from you? Okay, no, this isn't about work. This is about, so you could definitely be starting a new job though because I do see a job interview and I feel like some of you may want to go toward a career change. Your job could have ended abruptly. This could be why you're worried about things, feeling like you, you don't see the solution. 
right now because you're really worried about things. But I feel like something very positive may be changing with your work. There could be a new job or there could be a new completely different line of work that you might be going into. Yes, I feel like you guys might be starting fresh, but right now you're having to make a choice about your job. Right now, maybe you face some bad news that you're dealing with having to do with court. Somebody could have definitely gotten released from jail. Some of you are worried about your home situation. That's what you're worried about. You're worried about where you're going to lay your head because it looks like because your money is in jeopardy. You're living paycheck to paycheck. And right now it's kind of hard to plan ahead. I do feel like there's a new career path, but right now it looks like there's no clarity about what's coming in next for you. you know, there could have been somebody that lied to you, lied about you at work. You don't see the solutions. And right now you are kind of losing hope and, um, yeah, feeling a bit down about things. Scorpio. All right. So where do you guys go from here? What could possibly make the situation better? Holy Spirit for Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yes, some of you Scorpios, you have a hidden talent. Uh-huh. And it may have something to do with your intuition. You could be very intuitive. And you could be using that intuition to your advantage. You might be doing some type of um, spiritual work. Some type of investigation work. What could be make the difference for Scorpio couples, Holy Spirit? What could possibly be the game changer for Scorpio in this point in time? Scorpio couples, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Scorpio. Spiritual connection. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. This is why you guys can't let go. This is like this is why, in spite of all of the turmoil that you guys have gone through, you guys still continue to come back to one another. It's like you have a very difficult time leaving one another alone. Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. And that's probably one of the issues is somebody doesn't demonstrate love. It's like one of you doesn't feel that the other one is attentive to the other one's needs. You both you may both feel that way mutually. Have faith, trust and have faith in this situation. If that's what you choose, the situation may begin again. But the biggest dilemma is finding the issue, the, the solutions to the problems that keep you guys rewinding this whole tape again and again, replaying the same episode where you guys feel like you don't really get anywhere. Show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. Somebody is saying, can you just show me some more love? Can you be more open? Can you be more kind? Somebody feels that you're very rough around the edges. Scorpio, new love. Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. Absolutely. We just talked about that. New work opportunities may be coming in for you. Scorpio, new love. This could be the two of you starting over as new. But this could no doubt be um, some of you may decide to walk away from this completely. Not everyone will make the same decision. So there could definitely be new, new love coming in, especially for so those of you who are single. If you're done with this. That could be what's coming in for you next. Absolute new love. Actions speak loudly. Confirmation of what we've been talking about. Someone wants you to put your words behind your actions. Your word is your bond. They want you to stick to your word. Express your love through your actions. They want you to show them, not just tell them. Scorpio, so this next time around, if you guys decide to go down this rodeo again, they're saying, show me. Don't tell me. Ooh, look at your pattern in relationships. It requires strength to recognize that you need to change. Or modify your behavior. <laughs> you guys keep doing the same thing, reverting back to the same solutions, which is why you guys continue to hit up against the same dilemmas, you know, have the same dilemmas up against you, right? 
where you just can't figure out a way to navigate through those problems. Some type of pattern may need to be broken. You may need to examine where you guys, but there's some type of pattern here. Maybe from relationship to relationship, it could be cheating, it could be lies, it could be a lot of different things. But again, you can't solve new problems with old solutions. There has to be new ways of doing things. So with that, Scorpio, no, 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 no. The advice, Holy Spirit, please show me the advice for these Scorpio couples. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Scorpio couples. Scorpio. A time for healing. Hmm. You guys have been through a lot. Did I mention in the beginning that you guys, I think I did, that you're taking some time to regroup. You've been through so much. A lot of difficulty, a lot of turmoil, a lot of problems that are huge. The Spirit is saying right now, this is a time for healing. Your hard work is paying off. So it's going to take some hard work for you guys to get past these hurdles. And it's telling me, yeah, there's the potential for that hard work to pay off in the end if you feel that it is worth it. But there, it looks like there needs to be some healing that needs to take place. Maybe apart, maybe together. That remains to be seen, and it's going to be up to you guys individually to choose that. But that is what I have for you, Scorpios. Thank you so very much for watching. If you found that this video was helpful to you in any way, feel free to leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Consider subscribing if you already haven't. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can head over to my website, angelicascensionstarot.com. is where you could book. Thank you so very much for watching once again. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace. Take care.